It was a workhorse of the Second World and Cold Wars based right here in Edmonton. This B-25 was brought back to life by the volunteers at the Alberta Aviation Museum. Well, Daisy May that sits behind us came out of a farmer's field about eight years ago. And I want you to imagine no wings, no engines, no nose. Uh, one side of the fuselage had been cut out with what looked like a chainsaw. And over the last eight years, piece by piece, the volunteers at the Albert Aviation Museum have found, fabricated, and overhauled the components to create the aircraft behind us. Now, the story of Daisy May is quite exciting because it's an aircraft that actually operated from this hangar in the 19th. 1950s. So 418 Squadron at the time was our front line of defense against the Soviet Union coming across the Arctic Circle at the height of the Cold War. But imagine, this is an airplane best known for its service during the Second World War that was pushed into front line duty as a strike aircraft in the 1950s against jets and surface to air missiles up to the Arctic Circle. Now, if you look up the range on a B-25, you'll quickly find from here to the Arctic Circle is not a return trip. There's not enough fuel. So, much like in the Second World War, the young men of the day kind of ignored that fact. But it's quite the story that this particular aircraft has been replicated to be Daisy May because Daisy May no longer exists. It hit our hangar in 1956 and was destroyed. Daisy May was picked because of that accident. We have so many photos of it, we were able to replicate it so closely. And it's such an important piece of our history that often gets forgotten. Flying today, there's probably about 15 or 20 B-25s. Worldwide, maybe 40. Um, they were a very popular aircraft during the Second World War as a medium bomber. So a lot got used up there, as you can imagine. Post-war, it's one that survived because they were used as liaison aircraft, executive aircraft, and cargo aircraft because they have a nice big belly to haul lots of stuff. But in the 60s and 70s, they became a very popular water bomber. And we're all familiar with water bombers putting out forest fires. The problem is that's pretty hazardous duty and it's really, really tough on equipment. So over the years, it's gone from thousands to hundreds to a handful. The B-25 at the Alberta Aviation Museum gives the public a chance to see a piece of military aviation history and pay respects to the brave pilots and crew who flew her. This is a piece of our history here in Edmonton. It operated from this airport by 418 City of Edmonton Squadron and it's been brought back to life in the last remaining double wide, double long British Commonwealth Air Training Plan hangar. And it's really a tribute to the young men of the reserve squadrons during the Cold War, a time that's often forgotten. Uh, you know, the 50s and 60s, people really believed that the Red Menace was coming across the pole. And it was thanks to young people like Terry Champion, who was the pilot when this aircraft has, had its accident, that they stood the ground and held the way across the north, not just from Edmonton, but across Canada, to keep us safe at great risk to themselves. Brad Walker for Go Edmonton.